you know, so I was just so excited that last night I actually started it. And I also started my other project. Ooh, why don't I just do a super quick show? All right, so I have a bunch. These are just one, two, that's two projects, three projects right there. This is the fourth one. Okay, so I'm still waiting for my Etsy delivery to come with the fleece that I bought. But these two pieces I bought off Etsy, but it's actually off Spoonflower. Let's see. So this is gonna be like a king size blanket. This is a minky fabric, which is like really soft and it kind of has like a little bit like a furry feeling. And I absolutely adore, let's see, this is Elena design it says Elena Na Naylor so she designed this both sides so I got the black cat bookshelf in satin and I love it it's cats with books candles Parts, um, plants, stars. It's fucking adorbs. Okay, so then there's this white border. I tried it without the border and with, and I liked it much better with, meaning I could have sewn it together like this, but. The bookshelves don't exactly line up size for size, so I thought it looked better with the separation. And it gives the blanket it, um, an extra, extra four inches of width. Okay, so then this one has also cats, books, candles, plants, moon, stars and I fucking love it so it's this huge two-sided and right now the back is the back is just the back so I'm waiting for the mink not the minky I'm waiting for the fleece I got three yards of mint fleece three yards of lavender fleece, two yards of baby pink fleece, and hopefully it'll arrive tomorrow and I cannot wait. Oh, I'll just show the one last thing that I'm also super excited about making into a little blanket. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna use pink or purple or we'll see. This is also flannel. Um, I guess this is two yards. Llamas. It's so cute. Super cute, let's say. Design pattern llamas by my, my mind's eye. And it's so cute. Llamas. Really cute pastel llamas. I love it. So I can't wait to sew a fleece backing on this and make it an actual cute little blanket. So that's it for now. And hopefully tomorrow I'll get my fleece and then I can make the rest of the video in the daytime light. But I love this and I am so happy. Oh yeah, and one more side note. The fleece arrived. It's in the washing machine right now. All right, come with me to the basement because I already started washing it. The fleece that is gonna be the backing of um, three different projects. 
blankets. So going down to the basement is pretty freaking crowded and dirty. <laughs> down here, I have so much crap down here. I am not going to even show you, but I do want to show the fleece. Hold on, I need to clean this thing out. So excited, Roni. Now the fleece, I got three pieces. Let's see it. I got, oh, let's see if it smells good. Mmm, I washed them twice. So this is purple fleece, lavender. Let's see, this is one, this is three yards of purple fleece. And it's really soft. It's wet. I'm going to put it in the machine to dry. I got two yards of pink fleece, which is super soft. Let's see. This is stank. It smells good. I washed it twice. It smells good now. Into the dryer. And let's see. I got three yards of this mint colored fleece. There was a stain of black on, the f on it. And I was hoping it would just come out in the wash. So let's see if I can find it. Uh -huh. I don't see it. It's a little, it's funny. It's anti-pill, anti-pill fabric, but there's a little bit of pills. Okay, that's that. Oh, you know what? The pills might be coming off of this I washed it again this is the flannel llamas flannel pastel llamas which I'm probably gonna put with the pink but we'll see so that's that and I'm gonna dry those up and then I'll be on to my next projects so the cat blankets the cat um, cat fabrics that I showed at the beginning of this. The intention is for it to go, these are some fabric softeners, the intention is for it to go with the green mint fleece and the llamas with the pink, but I also have the purple and I haven't quite decided. So that is another bunch of projects for me to enjoy doing, to enjoy obsessing over and enjoy planning. And I'm so happy and excited about it. Thanks guys for enjoying this journey with me, my amateur sewing projects. And I'll see you next time.